Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and start navigating to the Salesforce page that we have talked about. Uh, I'm talking about this page and also before going through that, we'll also want to know about the architecture of the Salesforce. So here, the architecture of the Salesforce looks like this. So for example, you guys might have worked with Microsoft Access, right? And in Microsoft Access, you go ahead an Excel sheet. What you do if you wanted to create a new, um, keep details about how many employees are there, right? So you go ahead and create a table kind of structure which looks like this, and you give different and you capture different information of that particular employee, right? Like the first name of the employee, last name, salary, designation, address, all these things, right? So this whole thing, these are called as the columns of that table, right? And then this table is the actual table which will have those informations and then you start entering those records like you will start entering the rows like the first name is John main this is the first employer for company the second employee is Steve Harley all these do you start entering those rows so in Salesforce those tables are called as objects they do the same thing but they are called as objects in Salesforce and the columns that you created in this employee table they are called as the fields in the Salesforce and the, the rows that you enter, these are John, Main, Steve Harley, these are the rows that you've entered, they're called as the records in the Salesforce. Now, if you go back to the application, you will see that a bunch of these on the right hand side, these are the standalone or the standard applications that Salesforce provides. These applications are also called as the out of the box applications. Now, if you click on this call center, or if you click on the sales, you will see these. These are nothing but these are the objects in Salesforce. Okay. Now, if you go ahead and go to the accounts and click on this new, you will see a bunch of feeds like account name, parent account, account number. These are nothing but these are the columns of that table. We call them fields in Salesforce. Now, bunch of these, so bunch of these objects makes an application, and every object is associated with a tab. Basically, tab is the easiest way to access the object instead of going and accessing the table we have created a tab for the objects so these are these the one that you see here these are these are the tabs these are the tabs but they are actually called as the objects but the, to access them easily we created tabs out of them now a bunch of these tabs make up an application like call center has home chatter accounts all these are the tabs associated with the call center sales has and everything related to the sales like accounts opportunities and all that stuff so and this applications once you have created your application you create you create profiles now what do you mean by profiles profiles means the access how, what kind of control the users of that application has let's say if you talk about the CEO of the company he will have access to everything he will have access to reports employee data employee salary everything information but if you're a standard employee of a company, they don't want to share everything with you, right? You will not see the end-to-end -end of the application. You'll only see the some part of the application that they're working on. Those kind of things are controlled by the profile. Now, let's do an exercise on that. What we'll go ahead and do is let's go ahead and create a new user. Every, every user, right now what you see is that you have logged in as uh, Deepika Udemy. So this is my user. This is my account that I've created. Now everything, every user has a profile associated with him. If I wanted to check what profile Deepika has it, I can always go to the setup. And this is the page that you'll always come most of the time. You control the whole application through this page. So you go to the setup and you can see, okay, the users. Now if you go to the users, you will see this users and click on the users tab. In this users tab, you will have the users that are linked to this application currently, who is using these applications. Right now, by default, you'll get this chatter user. You don't have to worry about them. This is for the chatter purpose, for chatting and for communicating. Uh, and this is the user that I have logged in as. Now, by default, if you see, I have a profile of system administrator. So this is my profile. System administrator has the most access on the application. Now, if you go back to the system administrator, it will tell you what are the visibility, what objects this application and this user can see, what tabs he can see, what applications he can see. Everything you control, these are these to the profile. 
now if you go ahead and see it you can go ahead and edit it and you can edit okay what what applications i wanted to see so right now this guy can see app launcher call center and everything now if you go back here in the call center you can see it now i can go ahead and edit this and make sure that he doesn't see it so i can take that access from him and save it so this you have changed on the system administrator profile now if you go back here the user will not see the call center because you have told him that okay this profile has no visibility to this particular uh, call center application so this you have control to the profiles now these profiles will be given to the user so let's say i am i am itapeka i got a profile of say system administrator there will be another person they might get a profile some other profile like standard employee salesforce came with bunch of standard profiles and each of you can give one profile to multiple users there can be multiple users of the application will have to have the same profile that means they have the same visibility of that application now in our next tutorial we we'll go ahead and talk about and create our own application and we'll we'll see what what goes inside our application till then stay tuned and thank you